آزادی بیان یعنی لون زیو فری سپیچ If if I were to think about privacy and the big challenges of privacy, there's two. One is that the fundamental idea of asking the individual to read a privacy notice and then to consent to it wholesale is ridiculous. 42 pages of privacy notices and then to consent to it, nobody is doing that. And so the whole the whole mirage of notice and consent that the the European as well as the U.S. privacy principles are built on uh, is something of a, a problem kit. Mm. And in our intertwined network world, maybe we need to think about something else. And uh, one way of thinking about it uh, is to think about regulatory constraints rather than individual uh, mechanisms for individual expression. Um, and this is where the right to forgotten which comes in because the right to forgotten is a right that takes place after behavior happened. It saves you after you have spilled the milk, so to speak, uh, to the extent that it can be done. Uh, and uh, that might be more useful in the world that we are in now. And uh, then I said finally that the that users are also uneasy about the fact that companies make money off their interactions with others. Not so much on the advertisement side, but just on, on their general behavior. And th this is also something that causes unease and therefore some regulatory action uh, will happen in this field. And, and at this point in time, we still can shape it. And so it's important to have a conversation about that, which leads me then to sort of the forgetting issue. Um, and um, without with, uh, trying to do the Reader's Digest version of the forgetting argument, A, forgetting is important. It is important because it balances information power. And B, it is important because it is part of how we deal with time and the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the evolution of time. And I could go into details but I don't at this point in time. Now, once we understand that forgetting is important, then we have to think about how to operationalize it. And one way of doing that is to say, look, let's give people a chance to set an expiration date for stuff that they share on Facebook. If I have a status update and I then can set a date and say this status update will be accessible for two months but not after that or for six months but not after that and I can always go back and change that if I want to then I have a certain granularity for those that want to exercise that particular right um, w without constraining very much the behavior of those that won't want to exercise that right and that's why I suggested that.